What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Darren Mepernetter. Welcome to the IBL Week 2. I am your coach, WMR Pignetter, and I I am the coach of your Miami Infernapes. Hope you guys enjoyed the logo. Um, now, in the this video, it will be shown off for the entirety of the team builders. Um, if you haven't watched last week's, please make sure you check it out. I'm going to be spoiling the results in 3, 2, 1. We beat Dorian. We beat him in a strong 6-0 victory. Escadro with all 6 kills. Tyranitar sending up the groundwork for a sweep. So, pretty, pretty excited for that. I'm happy about that. I love the fact that uh, we beat him. Uh, so that puts us in the 1-0. We haven't uh, done league format in a full year. So next, we we are facing Tireless Team, who is the coach of the Cosmogs, New York Cosmog. His team will be put right now. He has the following. Melmetal, Keldiel, Hippowdon, Umbria, Ribombi, Gardevoir, Quillfish, Morpico, Mr. Rhyme, Dusclops, and... G Max Appleton, that's Flapple's rifle right there. How dare you get uh, Flapple's rifle? Okay, just uh, the one threat, the two threats that I'm scared of is Melmetal and Keldeo. Um, I'm more or less prepped hard around them, but not too hard. That if they don't, if he doesn't bring either of them, or if he doesn't bring one of either, then I won't be too crippled. Uh, and that he can handle the rest of his team. Um, so the his wall core of Hypaldon and Umbreon, that's really that's gonna be very kind of difficult to break. Uh, Rabambi, Sticky Webs, Quiver Dance or Specs, I'm ready for each one of those. We have Gardevoir, we're ready for Specs or Scarf, cool or Calm Mind. He could be Calm Mind, or like. Stored power with some crap. Uh, Quillfish, Spikes, you already know what it is. More Pico, um, v Gay Electric Ronin, and also Dark. Uh, Mr. Rhyme can also spin. Don't expect him to bring that though. Dustcoffs, he could bring that. Uh, and G Max Appleton. Uh, he has G Max Sweetness, which is like a, a heal, is like a aromatherapy type move. If I'm wrong, I'm going to put uh, the information on the screen. So, prepping was a little bit difficult. Um, his team is very, in my opinion, one of the top teams. It's very difficult to prep around. So, I'm going to show you what I built. And then the battle will be in the, after the team builder. So, the first teammate we have is Obstagoon. He's debut. We're bringing a choice scarf set. This choice gift, just choice scarf set, allows me to outrun Gardevoir, and allows me to outspeed Keldeo. And by what I mean by Gardevoir, I mean Scarf Gardevoir, and that's what the speed investment is for. We live Scarf Gardevoir. Uh, we take a couple hits with that defense investment. Didn't really. I just I just put the rest in defense. Cause I didn't really need much speed, and his defense is already high enough. And we're adamant, so we were able to run speed for adamant with adamant. So we don't really need to run jolly, which is ah perfect. Knockoff, uh, facade, close combat, parting shot. Those are standard moves. Parting shot allows me, uh, so I don't really have to click a move. And I want him to think I, I'm a choice item or I'm. Yeah, I, I want him to think I'm like choice band, or or like a defiant nature to prep for his quillfish. That's why I'm not predicting him to run. Um, I'm not anticipating him to run quillfish. I don't feel like he's gonna bring that, especially because I have defiant on um, my obstacle, and I try to accommodate for that. But we're scarfed, and um, pretty um, he's uh, he. This is his debut. I'm, this is mine. Is so fun. And I'm so glad I'm bringing him to this week. Knockoff, you already know what it is. It cripples all his Pokemon. It actually cripples every one of his Pokemon. Because there's no Z moves. 
if he wants to get cover himself from trick and stuff, he has to run like um a male, which I don't think that exists. Uh, in close combat, hits the uh, obstacle, uh, hits the melmetal hard, and the upper. The next one is arthritis. I misspelled him. I now know how to spell him. Shoutouts to my friends at the E Squad for laughing at me. This is a very Chinese EV spread. We live a psychic from plus one Rebombi. And we 2 hit KO with Sus Bomb. Uh, the speed is for Melt Metal, so we're able to burn him. And we have neutralizing gas, basically, so we don't get burned uh, from the Umbreon. So we can just spread burns all around everyone. I was in the mix between Clear Smog and Pain Split, but at the end I picked Pain Split because I found because um, if you looked at the HP stats between Mel Metal and Weezing, they're like more than half apart. So I'm I'm gonna get all the HP back, and I'm gonna burn. I could burn anything, and Flame Thor breaks his sub, so he doesn't set up a sub on me, and I'm not really afraid of that. And that's really all it is, but Payapa Berry just allows me to eat. It also helps me take one sidekick from Gardevoir. It allows me to take a sidekick from Rebombi. But other than that, and, and we also block Shield Dust, so if we get a, we get that lucky poison. And I don't think Gardevoir can trace uh, Neutralizing Gas. I might be wrong about that. Uh, the next Pokemon, my boy Bulldozer. Brendan, for some reason, likes his nickname. Um, we have Earthquake, Iron Head, X Scissor, Rapid Spin. It's just another choice scarf. Uh, we outspeed Gardevoir again, but we put in special defense, so we live a Sacred Sword. No, not a Sacred Sword. We live like a Scald. And we also take a mis Mystical Fire from the Gardevoir. Um, this is more or less my end game cleaner. Same with Optagoon. Uh, X Scissor is mainly for the Umbreon since I really can't break that, and and also it also helps me with the Appleton. That's that's actually what its main its main use is for Appleton, and it's just a spinner in case he brings Stealth Rocks, which he only has like one rocker. If I'm uh, yeah, he has one rocker in Hippolyta. That's really what X Scissor does. Um, he outspeeds Keldeum. And I know when if Keldeo speeds me, that's a Scarf Keldeo 1000%. And if he Scarf Keldeo, I'm not really scared about that. Alright, the next Pokemon is very interesting. This is Haku the Scented Scorch. Scented Scorch is very interesting. It's a counter to Melmetal. Let me explain. We are running Flame Body, and any move that Melmetal can hit us with, unless it's a Rock move, he gets burned from an earthquake, but we live in earthquake. We're bold nature, so we tank on the Umbreon, but we have Fire Lash and Knock Off, because Knock Off cripples his team, and Fire Lash lowers defenses anyway. So, if um, so even if I minus attack, I st I still like cripple his team, and I have rest to rest any damage I've gotten off. We outspeed the Melmolo as well, so we kind of this helps me this helps with the 1v1. We don't counter the Mel Model, but this really helps beat the Mel Model. So we either, we knock off his we can knock off his choice ban, we knock off his leftovers, and we cripple him with Frame Thor. This is my 1000 switch in to Mel Model just so I he can bur get burned and he doesn't really click for iron, double iron bash for free, which I don't think he could click double iron bash for free. If I'm being honest, he could click a Thunder Punch or Ice Punch or Earthquake, which. and Double Iron Bash. So. And he's heavy duty boost because in case he breaches any rockers, I don't want to re really rely on removing rocks to get rid to so my Sentinels can freely switch into the. to the. Uh, Mel Metal. And in case he breaks Sticky Webs, we still outspeed the Mel Metal. Next Pokemon. Is Lana Del Rey the Mantide? This is the exact same set we brought last week, but it's very effective here. We switch into the Umbreon, we set up a sub on an Umbreon, and we toxic stall the rest of his team. And we have a Lumberry, so we could toxic the Umbreon once, and 
the four moves that the Umbrian can have is like foul play, wish, protect, either heal bow or toxic. So he really can't have a lot of moves on the Zubrion. If he has Heal Bell, um, I can just still more or less stall it out. And I'm max, max defense. So we take on uh, Keldeo and we take on the Melt Metal. We also eat a couple hits from Hippaldon. Uh He could bring Thunder Fang on Hippaldon to do way more damage. Um, knowing Tyler, I think I think he could run. Um, <coughs> I think he could run that. But yeah, with the exact same set, what's funny, because I breed my team, I didn't really have to make a new Manti, I used the exact same Manti, <laughs> I used the exact same Manti, I just switched up the EV, EV so we could be max defense, <laughs> I'm so creative, and then our last mon is another debut, a third debut, Gr Rob Gronkowski, the girder, this EV spread is also really interesting. And this set's really interesting. Now, Girder sets up on his two main walls. Unless the Hippodon has Whirlwind, which that gets rid of a move slot. Because he had, if you, I feel like he has to run like Earth, he has to run like, um, like a move to hit Mantine. And then he has to, uh, a Whirlwind or Slack off. I guarantee he's bringing Slack off. Uh, and Stealth Rocks, because he really doesn't have a rocker for my team. But this Girder sets up on ev um, mainly his physical attackers. We set up against the Metal Metal. We set up against the um, Rion. We set up against the um, Hippelda. Our speed on Girder is to outspeed Metal Metal. You can tell I'm outspeed. No, I think I outspeed um, Hippelda, actually. Yeah, I outspeed Hippodon and Mel Metal, so I can set up on them, and I outspeed no speed Umbria. We live a Psychic from a Garden War if we're at max HP. We live a Moonblast from Rebombi from max HP. Um, but I'm not staying in on the Rebombi, that's for sure. And we can set we can set up a substitute, and foul play never breaks my sub. I'm adamant, 76 attack, so we can still 2 8 KO at plus 2. And we have enough defense so we can take two double iron bashes. So this is like another Chinese EV spread. I'm actually I actually love this EV spread. And I might keep this exact same girder. But And it, it works guts in case he tries to toxic I, I was gonna run like Iron Fist, but didn't think Iron Fist was uh pretty good. And Sheer Force is bad. Don't run Sheer Force. I was, I feel like, knock, I feel like, uh, I also live, uh, Scarf Hydro Pump from a Uh, Girder is my win condition. I have to try to set up this Girder to win. Um, and, uh, yeah. If, if you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the battle. Bye bye And we're here, we're in the team. He brought... Everything more or less what I expected. He didn't bring the Rebombi. He did bring in Melmetal, Umbreon, Quillfish, Hippowdon, Gardevoir, and Keldeo. Pretty, really happy about that. He didn't bring the Rebombi. He didn't bring, um, he didn't bring the, the Dust Cubs. He didn't bring his G-Max. So this is going to be a G-Max free battle. Which is good in my opinion. Uh, he could lead off with um. Yeah, he's definitely gonna lead off with um. The quillfish, so. Cause his ground resist doesn't exist, and I feel like he's not gonna. I don't feel like he's intimidated. He doesn't have a ground resist, so I can just earthquake round turn one. Well, probably not just earthquake, but I could also excess or something. If he brings hit pal down, I'm gonna switch one thousand percent and yeah I already told him good luck have fun let me write down on this list what he got he got Mel Metal Umbreon Will Fish Powdon Gardevoir and Keldeo 
All right, I already told him good luck, have fun. And we're getting this shit started. And uh, hopefully we have a hacks first free battle. He leads off with Sophie, he's a paladin, as expected. Kinda expected, but he brought Sand Force. Or Sand wait, did he bring Sand Stream? Alright, I'm faster. He didn't bring it, I knew it. He brought Sand Force predicting my Tyranitar and not to give me Sand Sand Rush. Ah, I should have let off with Gronkowski. I I had it in the back of my mind when I built this that this was that was gonna be my lead. Heck. Alright. It's fine. I'm gonna switch into my uh my man time. Look at her. Stealth rocks, that's fine. I'm gonna sub up. There's, there's his rocks. He doesn't have a way to punish me, so I'm gonna substitute. Subbing's free because it lets me scout what move he has. He could bring Thunder Fang. He could also have Whirlwind. But if he has Whirlwind, I know he has Stealth Rocks. And he has to have Stack Off. And definitely has Earthquake. So whatever he does here determines what move he has. He could have Stone Edge. He switches. Perfect. Metent. Oh. He's going right hard into his Mel Metal. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Scald to go for the burn. I'm going to click Scald and it also does quite a bit of damage. But we'll see how much damage it this does. That does more than 25 by the way. Burn. Boom! You have Thunder Punch? He has Substitute as well. We negated his leftovers. And we know Sub break. We know Scald breaks his Substitute. So he doesn't really have that much HP or special defensive investment. So, I'm behind the Sub. I'm too free to click Scald here. He doesn't really have a resist. It's good that I click Scald that turn instead of Roost. I could have Roosted back to full health. Alright, so I outspeed, of course. Because that means he doesn't really have much speed investment. Oh, it doesn't break the sub. What? Okay. Uh, eh, that's fine. Because he's burnt, I'm gonna go right into Haku. I'm gonna flamethrower. And knowing he has sub and thunder punch, he really doesn't have any move to. Like, I'm not sure what his third move would be. So I'm gonna switch out Lana. Keep her for later. Haku's debut. What are you using? Double iron bash. So I can do shit. That ain't doing nothing. Alright, if I'm correct. I should break this up. Well, no, I'm, I'm definitely breaking this up because it's called kinda kinda did it so much damage. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna throw throw. Damage calculator. This Mel Metal is, is pretty spooky. All right, break your sub. He's rock slide. That ain't doing jack shit. Because he's burnt and I'm max, ma like fully maxed de defense. Um.
Alright, I'm gonna knock off in case he also goes into Keldeo. He could go Keldeo here, predicting me to hit him with a flamethrower. And I'm not giving him free switching. This lets me get rid of any item he has. Which is perfect. That's perfect for me. I'm in I'm in a good position and if he kills me. Doesn't matter, I break, I got rid of his leftovers and my Sentry Scorch did his job. His job mainly was to 1v1 the Mel Metal. So. Yep, he swats out. Artax, who's this? Kelio. Perfect, I got rid of his scarf. Or specs. He got, he got got rid of his life orb, so that's perfect for me. Alright, I'm going, um... Ah! Uh, okay. I could make a play. He could scald. He's gonna obviously predict that. Actually, there's no reason for me not to go to Lana, to my Manti. Because, um, I can just roost afterwards. I'm pretty free to roost. Even if he makes a double switch, I can still roost. He's a sword stance variant. I'm so glad I max defense. I think. I'm gonna roost. Let's see what he does. He could have stone edge. Stone edge. Should have known. Actually, I knew he had Stone Edge. Should have made the play. I could go Weezing. And pretty burn him. There he is. I feel like I made a mistake. I knew he had a... I'm gonna burn. Location probably won't do anything. It's probably gonna do a lot. It's gonna do a lot. But I got rid of his life orb, so... I'm gonna paint split. We're gonna paint split. Yeah, he's physical Keldeo. That's is this what he was gonna sweep me with? Maybe I live. Do I live? I don't know. I don't. I'm getting destroyed. Oh yeah, because I gave him plus three attack. Let me see something. To Keldeo. Ah, I'm not killing. Wow. Wait, what would do more? Him or... Obstacle. Oh my god. Actually, no. Wait, what's, what's wrong with me? I could just go Rob Gronkowski. I have defense investment. He reswitches, which is completely fine by me. He goes to goat, who's goat? Quill finish. Let's finally get my health back. I'm okay, I'm going hard. Hard into Excadrill, I'm clicking Earthquake. Yeah, 
He could sell up his spikes here, though. He's also a sword stance. My god. He's Aqua Jet. Wow. I'm getting my ass handed to me. I really choked, huh? I choked my man ten away. I'm gonna facade. Predicted him to go Keldeo. And I took a KO him. He doesn't die. I'm gonna facade again. Is that what I think I could? I could live this? I live! Boom! I'm not getting 6 0'd. But I don't win this. I'm not gonna win this. Oh yeah, kill the. Uh, he goes guard of war. That's fine by me. What would do more though? Like, I could um. Knockoff would do more, but I still have to AKO him. Just got fa fast out. He's gonna hit a wish right back into his mail model, is he? Artex, that's his Keldeo. Okay, that's pretty awkward though, but um... I mean, it could- I threw hit KO him though. And he really can't set up on me. I mean, he can set up once, but that's really it. At least I got two kills though. We got our killed herself though, so... That counts as self kill. Okay, cool. Wait, I could still win this actually. I could come back from this. I can actually- yeah. No! We'll see what happens. And we're back, sorry. We disconnected. So, let me tell him. He already knows. We're gonna do it. We could do it again. So from the battle, I this this is good for me because what I can do is that I can I'm gonna bulk up here since I know he's physical. Perfect, perfect. 
I switched out. I switched. This p p perfect, perfect. He shouldn't really have much speed. He only has double iron bash. Um. I could drain punch. Let's calc it. Girder. To Mel. Mel Metal. I'm plus one. Oh, yeah, I know he's not banded. Yeah, I can see this, so. And I'm plus one defense. So, is this your kill here? I get a lot of HP, uh, HP back. I kill him. Perfect. And I still ha I didn't show off myself yet. He goes right into Umbria. Um. I'm gonna drain punch because he can't. Oh, I outspeed him. He's psychic. Oh my god, is Gritter gonna pick up the three um, more kills? I haven't showed him my sub yet. He does I don't think he has toxic. I'm gonna substitute here. Oh my god. Th that doesn't break my sub. Oh my god, Gritter! Good. I'm going to go back behind my sub. Unless he's going to whirlwind. Nope. How much is this drain punch doing? Oh my god, that's a 2 AKL. Uh, I'm going to sub again. I can sub on these uh, mons. Can't, I don't think he, can, he can't break my sub. He can't break my sub here. Yes. Yes, this is perfect. He's already GG. Oh my god. Good game to Tyler. Yeah, he's saying the burn causes him the game. I'm just gonna double uh, drain punch. <laughs> Liquidation to earthquake doesn't kill. Oh my god, I'm gonna win. Gritter is out here claiming four kills. Good game to Tyler. I'm saving this replay. Just in case. I agree. That DC did put a power taste in my mouth. But good game. Oh, I ruined this game. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. And comment, subscribe to show your support. Support your Miami Infinites. We did it, boys. We did it. Have yourself a nice day. Bye, guys.